In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to know if your cold emails are going to spam or the primary inbox. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is George. I'm founder of Email Chaser. Now let's get into the video. When you send cold emails, one of the most important things to understand is whether your emails are going to the primary inbox or the spam folder. If your emails go to the spam folder, then it doesn't really matter what else you do. You're not going to get responses and you're not going to generate revenue for your business. That begs the question, how do you know if your cold emails are landing in the primary inbox or if they're going to spam? That might seem like a simple question, but the problem is that ESBs like Gmail and Outlook and all the other ones as well, they don't give anyone that information. So when you see these inbox placement test tools online that give you all these kind of metrics about whether your email is going to spam or not, just keep in mind, none of those tools actually have data from Gmail or Outlook. They are arbitrary and they're not really accurate. So you should not trust that data. It's not an accurate measurement. And there's things that you can do to get a general idea if you have good deliverability or not, but no tool out there has information from Gmail or Outlook because Gmail and Outlook does not make that information public. So when you send your cold emails from a Gmail or Outlook account or to Gmail and Outlook accounts, the information in terms of where that email lands is not made public and the only person who actually knows where your email landed is the person that you're emailing. So if you don't have direct access to whoever you just emailed to ask them where your email landed, there's no bulletproof way of knowing. That being said, there is still some hope because there are still some ways of knowing whether your deliverability is good or not. So I'm gonna go through some of the main things right now in this video. The first is if you're new to cold email or even if you've been doing it for a while, you should always launch real campaigns from your cold email sending tool and include a few real email addresses in your campaign CSV file that you either control or you know people who control those emails so that you can manually check where your emails are landing. So for example, if I'm launching a campaign in Email Chaser, so let's say I go into my Email Chaser account and I click the Create Campaign button. When I upload the CSV file to the campaign, I'm going to include maybe two or three real email addresses in that CSV file that either I control or one of my friends or family controls. And then when I launch the campaign and the email starts sending, I'm going to ask my friends or family or if it's my, my own accounts, I'm going to log into those. I'm going to see where my emails landed, whether that's primary or spam. So that's the best way of knowing what your deliverability is like. Always do it manually. Always be manually testing these things. I know some people might say, oh, that's not scalable or that's not reliable. Uh, in terms of being able to do it on a high volume level. But in the end of the day, that's the most surefire way or the, the most surefire way of knowing whether you're going to spam or not. The second thing that you want to understand is there are a lot of inbox placement test tools like Glock apps, a lot of other ones out there, and they claim to be able to tell you if you have good deliverability and if your emails are going to spam or not. And that's just not, they're just not accurate. But even worse, these deliverability tools can actually potentially negatively impact your deliverability. You'll see that there's this article I brought up from this website. And this person did a study where they tried Glock apps, which is a popular deliverability test site. And this person is saying that this is a bit like having a thermometer that changes the temperature of your food. In our testing, we found that many third-party tools caused by our domain slash IP address, being caused our domain IP address to be blacklisted. As you can see below, a single Glock, Glock apps test led to one of our domains being burned with Yahoo. This is problematic because if measuring deliverability is what ends up killing it, then the exercise is pointless. So what this person here is saying is that in their tests, when they used a deliverability testing tool like Glock apps, it actually ended up burning their email account and domain, which is the you know, worst case scenario. So be very careful with these tools. And also think about it logically from the perspective of a ESP like Gmail or Outlook. The kinds of people who are using these inbox placement test tools are typically people who are not really on the good side of Gmail or Outlook. So it's probably not the best place to be operating in because those are easy places for Gmail and Outlook to identify who are sending a high volume of cold emails and then potentially blacklist those domains and email accounts. So the point is, is you want to be careful because they could get your accounts blacklisted and then additionally, they're not even accurate. 
The final way to know if your email accounts are working well, if your emails are going to the primary inbox or not, is by looking at your positive response rate. When you're sending cold emails in a campaign, you might upload a thousand leads to your campaign and you might click launch and your emails will start sending and you might start with a solid response rate, maybe five to 10%, maybe even higher. And that's great and that's a good sign. But if your response rate suddenly drops below 5% or even lower than that, maybe one or 2%, then that's a red flag because if you had a high response rate and then suddenly out of nowhere it just tanks, that's usually a sign that your email accounts have been blacklisted by Gmail and Outlook and other ESPs. And what can t- sometimes happen is ESPs like Gmail and Outlook, they can see that your sending is not great. Maybe maybe you're using reseller accounts, maybe you've done some other mistakes that they don't like, and they can out of nowhere blacklist your accounts. And if that happens, you're not going to get any responses. And Another thing that's related to this is I've seen situations where people have been sending emails. They get blacklisted by Outlook, for example, and Outlook will continue showing the emails being sent in the sent folder of their email accounts. But what's actually happening is that Outlook is not sending the emails. So even though it's telling the person who owns the email accounts that those emails are being sent in the sent folder, in reality, the leads are not receiving those emails And the reason why Outlook does that is because they want to make you think that cold email doesn't work. Because if they make you think that cold email doesn't work, like, look, you're sending all these emails and no one's responding to you, then you're just going to give up. And that's what they want you to do. They don't want to actually tell you the truth, which is they blacklisted your accounts. So your emails are no longer sending and the leads are no longer receiving your emails. Because if they told you that, then you're just going to set up new email accounts and then try again, which they don't want you to do. So my point here is that Email accounts can get blacklisted if you don't know what you're doing. And if you see your response rate suddenly drop significantly to the point where you're basically getting no responses, that's a huge red flag and usually means that your accounts are black are, are blacklisted. And at that point, there's nothing you can really do to, to revive them in general. It's best just to kill those domains and email accounts and start again from scratch. To summarize this video, there's three main things to understand. First, email deliverability test tools like lock apps are not accurate and can actually hurt your deliverability potentially. Second, the only real way to know if your emails are going to spam or the primary inbox is by sending real emails through your cold email sending tool and seeing where they land by either including some of your own email accounts in the campaign or email accounts from your friends or family. That's the only real way of knowing. And then third, if your positive response rate out of nowhere suddenly drops in a significant way, then that probably means that your email accounts are blacklisted and that you're going to spam or your emails are just not even being sent at all, despite what the sent folder might be saying. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this about cold email, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope to see you in the next video.